Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to export your Vroid model so it's already optimized to good or medium performance, usually it's going to be good for a PC. So we start with our Vroid model, I'm going to take this sample one, you can use any you make in this software. And you go to the export tab right here and you export as VRM as you always do. And that takes a little bit. And now you see the export info, which is the most important part. So if polygons are under 70k, that's fine. That's what you want for better than very poor performance. Basically, there's, you know, above 70k, very poor, below 70k, good performance when it comes to polygons. So this is fine. But if it's more than that, you can change these sliders to uh, reduce the amount of polygons. But the biggest problem for us here is the amount of materials. It says 23 here. And if your avatar is not gonna use any like fancy specific effects, so we need like separate materials, you don't need this many for this avatar. And if you do need that, you probably know what you're doing already. You don't really need this tutorial. So what you do here is you go to reduce materials and you click the default and you select the desired amount of materials and for this avatar we just want it to look like this nothing specific we just select two and now it's going to convert the model data and you know join all the meshes and all the do all the work so you let it work uh, it takes a couple of minutes so i'll get back to you when it's done okay now it finished processing uh, you can change the atlas resolution but 4k should be fine for all we have here uh, maybe even for Quest, but uh, that's going to be a second video we're going to upload after this one. So if you want to see how to convert your Vroid model for Quest, check my channel and check the video that I'm going to release after this one. Uh, you can also reduce bones, but I'm not going to do it here. So after this is done, which is the most important part, we're going to export. And you can fill all these things if you want to. I don't really care personally. So I'm just going to export my model. And this also takes a little bit. It's just how it is. If you work with Vroid, don't panic when uh, the software goes non-responsive like this. It's normal. That's how it works. So now you select the folder where you want to export your avatar. I'm just going to do it in my avatar folder. And now you're going to import it into Blender. And if you don't have this plugin already, you're going to need a plugin called VRM add-on for Blender. I'm gonna link it in description. And also later gonna need the CAS plugin uh, for optimization further, which I'm gonna also link in the description. So I'm just gonna open a new project here to show you how I import this avatar. VRM, uh, it's gonna be avatars. And I scroll down and it's this one. I let it process a little bit. There you go. You can see our nice little avatar. And I'm gonna also show statistics just to see. And you can see that if you check the mesh, we have only two meshes and two materials, which is basically the face is separate. That's how they do it, which is fine. Um, but the problem is we have 250 bones, which is too many, uh, for the avatar to be a good performance. It's going to be only medium, I think. So what we do here, because the avatar has a bunch of bones that it doesn't use. For example, I'm going to show you, I pose, for example, this chain and you can see it doesn't do anything. Like it doesn't pose anything. So it's completely redundant bone we don't need. Uh, so we go into CATS after installing the plugin, you go to CATS and um, you go to optimization, bones and you delete zero weight bones right here. Boom, and now it did the magic. And now we have only 141 bones, which is like what, 90 bones decrease, decretion, I don't know if that's a word, but anyway. And before exporting, we're going to delete all these colliders that we don't need. You just left click the first one, shift left click, and then 
you push delete and scroll up and it's going to appear it's going to be fine and you also push a on your keyboard and go to object apply and you go to all transforms right here there you go and now you file export and you export your avatar with fbx all right here and you disable leap bones you don't want leap bones for vrc at all and you export now you let it work for a tiny bit now it's going to load here and i'm just going to show you really quick uh, i'm going to add animator and i'm also going to get vrc avatar descriptor and just really quick we're going to fix we're going to check and you can see the avatar is good performance so the avatar is optimized but it's not ready to use uh, it looks like made out of clay with no materials, no textures, and also it's not gonna move because we don't have the rig set up. So that's what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do first, we're gonna set up the rig. So you select your FBX like like this, and in the inspector you go rig, and change from generic to humanoid. Apply, and it has errors, but you can fix them. Uh, you click configure, and you can see there's a problem with attaching for some reason the legs but we can fix that so let's see oh it attached the skirt for some reason well we're gonna fix that right here so you find the lower leg and you drag these oh actually it should be the foot like this and toes you don't need for the VR chat as far as I know shoulders like are kind of strange we also check these Hmm. Ah, interesting. It also attached shoulders the wrong way. So we're gonna fix that as well. And you have to kind of step back and think a little bit about these things because sometimes it auto attaches really weird stuff. You just have to like sit back and be like, what the heck am I looking at? And then you fix it. Uh, or, yeah, that should be fine. I'm also going to go into head and remove the jaw, which gets a random hair bone. And also the eye is weird, so I'm going to fix the eye as well. There we go, that should be fine. Let me just check the fingers. Hmm, the fingers are quite strange as well, interesting. Interesting, let me fix that as well. For some reason, didn't attach the third bone of the fingers, and fingers always have three when it comes to humanoids in Unity. So that is quite strange, but we can fix it. Oh, look, this hand is completely fine. Very interesting. Um, okay, let's see. The neck is not attached for some reason. Okay, there we go. And I'm looking at this, and it looks completely fine. So we're gonna do done. And apply and after setting the rig of the avatar you need to put in the uh, avatar avatar <laughs> file which I don't have in my original here so you basically open your FPX right here and you're gonna see this basically green or bluish ragdoll so you click and drag and you put it into the avatar slot and that's gonna fix it that should fix our problems and now we're gonna get the textures and materials. So I'm gonna make a new folder called Vroid Avatar uh, Optimization. I'm gonna get into it and I'm gonna create a folder called materials and I'm gonna create a folder called textures. And I'm gonna go back to Blender and you go into the tab called, for example, UV editing or texture paint, either of those. And you're going to find textures. And you can scroll through them here. And you basically need only the base textures and the normal maps from these, as far as I understand it. So you find which ones are corresponding. For example, this one is the head and the face, which we need. So you go to image and you save as. I still have copy pasted my path to the project, so I'm going to paste it. Uh, and you go to the 
let's see, oh there we go, this folder that we made and textures, and you save it. Then you find another one which should be, uh, I'm gonna go, there's like a transparent and a black background one, so I'm just gonna go for the transparent one. And this is the clothing, as far as I know, it made like a little atlas for it. So you save the clothing, and I'm gonna also go for the normal maps if I can find them. Uh, yeah, there should be something interesting. Is that the hair? Let me see. Sometimes you have to research. Oh yeah, that's the clothing and the hair. I see. So we're gonna save this too. And then, uh, let me see. This should be. Are they? Are there any normals? I don't see anything on the face. So there's probably no normal maps. You can look through these and if you find anything you actually need, you export it, but uh, I think we're fine at this point. So now we go back to Unity. Now that we have the textures, you're going to go to Materials. And I'm going to create two materials. One of them is going to be called, let's see, um, Body. And the next one is going to be called Head. And you control and left click both of them to select all both of them. And I'm going to change the shader to Puyomi. You can also find the link in the description. It's like the most common uh, shader that we use for avatars and PC in like the English speaking part of VR chat. And you click and drag the body onto the body and the head, click and drag onto the head. You can also do it alternatively by selecting the mesh and clicking and dragging here into the material slot. So now we have that done, we're gonna put in the uh, textures into the color and normals. There you go. And for the body, we're gonna do the same thing. There you go. And you can see there's a problem. There's a lot of weird, you know, black spots also on the face. That's why, because we don't, we have opaque rendering and not transparent or cutout. So we need to ch change this into cutout or transparent. And transparent looks weird. So and the transparent, like the whole thing is transparent, which you don't want. So you don't to cut out. And this is what you want, basically. Uh, which is not ideal, but it will, it will do. And you change the same thing for the head. Cut out. There you go, looks much better. Let me change the resolution to 4K, let's see. Yeah, that looks much better. I was wondering why it looks so weird and wrong. This is basically what you get, low resolution for being so optimized, but it's gonna work. Now we can go to the SDK and see if there's any problems with our avatar and this one we can auto fix. And uh, the avatar should be all good. We can test it in Unity using the, using the gesture manager, which I'm gonna also link in the description. So I'm gonna go to tools, gesture manager emulator to put it into the project and I go into play mode. Now we're in play mode with gesture manager, it was quite fast. And you can see the avatar is in a pose of standing almost on desktop, so it seems like it works. We can just uh, go to debug and change the upright to, for example, 0 0.4, so she's going to crouch. And you can see everything is fine, she's going to move just fine. So now you only have to figure out little details, like for example, fist bones for ears and the hair, and it should be fine. But your avatar is going to be, if you keep the fist bones nice, it's going to be optimized. And we have a little problem here that we need to fix. So we go to the rig setting again. And it's probably missing the upper chest. So I'm just going to drag it in. Done. Apply. And that works. It's completely fine. So we're going to do some basic setup for fist bones, for example, for ear, the ears and the hair. So the hair is quite complicated. Um, so if you want to be really optimized, you would have to add another bone. 
it would basically combine all of this so we don't have separate components. But let's say I'm gonna add fist bones only to these two pigtails and the ears. So let's see, where do I find the ears? Oh, it's here. I see, very nice. So we're gonna control left click and you're gonna add fist bones like this, fist bone controller. And you're gonna change the limits to angle. So it basically only goes to, um, you know, this little cone radius. It doesn't, for example, go inwards. It's usually the basic thing you can do. I'm gonna do the same for the pigtails. Limiters to angles. It's quite nice. But for the pigtails, we wanna do a collider in the chest so it doesn't go through the chest. So you find your chest bone and you add this one collider and it's quite big so you're gonna make it 0.1 and we're gonna change it to a capsule and change the height to let's see 0 0.5 uh, well a bit less 0 0.4 and this is quite okay you can also change the position to move it uh, back and forth and to the side and height and whatnot so I'm gonna make it a, a little to the you know in the front it should be fine so it doesn't you know so it's just a chest and now you go to your fist bones for the hair you can do both like this control left click and you add collision and you add colliders you just add one for the chest and you click and drag the chest bone like this into the collider it's going to register it and also we change the radius of the collision to 0. Point, let's see 1 that's too much 0. 0.01 0.02 that should be good and that's some basic setup you can play around you can find all different like settings for hair and uh you know ears and all that on the internet so i'll let lead, let you to it and we're just going to test it one final time to see that it works in gesture manager and we can just move around our character and you can see the bones work and it should it well it clips through the hands arms that you can fix as well but if your aim is to be optimized we need to check the SDK and see what it says about that but um, for fist bones colliders transforms it it's it's fine it's very little so we can still get better and optimize more if you want to and now you know how to add colliders and you know the fist and all that so uh feel free to do whatever you need um like and subscribe let me know what you think about this video comment send this to people you think this would help and uh i'll see you in the next video